Hi, I'm HP and um, welcome here to my channel and today's uh, lesson on November 28th, 2012 and actually today's a lunar eclipse just happening just right now actually <laughs> when I want to check out the time it's just happening just right now and uh, some people really uh, lunar eclipse is mostly full moon and uh, actually it's always full moon and some people really can feel the moon and um, so I, when I was thinking about what shall I what shall I talk about today I was thinking about why not playing something uh, or explaining something about the Lydian mode and how the way to express Lydian mode getting behind the secrets of Lydian mode because Ludi mode has this really open, white, spacey kind of tone and color, actually a color dark blue for my personal feeling. And so we're going to just check out uh, first the theory behind um, Ludi mode. And then we see some examples, um, a little bit adapted to uh, Joe Satriani's Flying uh, in a Blue Dream. I think that was the name of the song. But... Um, I mean, it can be any kind of tune. Uh, this is just a very good example. Uh, you can play Ludi mode in a very nice way. You also can use Ludi mode, of course, in jazzy um, ways. But um, on a lunar eclipse, I don't want to play jazz. I want to play this more open and wide. <laughs> want to get more into these moods and then uh, well that's actually great so let's check it out um first a little bit some some chords uh, chord ideas and then some solo ideas on ludian mode to play typical ludian mode chords you need to understand um, where the chords come from and we have the, and the modes actually by the way as well so in any kind of a major tune we have the first step chord as an example in C, it would be C major 7, first step or C major, and on the fourth, that would be F, we have also major chord or F major 7. But now when, when, when we're going to express and on the fourth, we have this, uh, we find the leading mode when we check out the modes. So. so when you want to express um, a Ludi mode in a chord. It's very good to know that, um, like the fifth, the fifth uh, chord in a major tune is in this case G. So now, um, to express the Ludi mode in chords, we talk about upper structures. So we add to the F in the bass. So like this will be F major. We can add. Ooh, let's how, how shall I grab this here? Whoa. We we add a G with an F in a bass. Up here it's easier <laughs> because um yeah here we have the F major and we want a G with the F in the bass would be like this. So F and G with the F in the bass. So you can switch between or the easy way, I don't know, like, let's say an example, uh, which we're going to use in the track later in A flat. We have here A flat major, here, and then A flat Lydian. So, this is A flat major, and this one here, this is a part of the B flat, but we add the A flat in the bass, so... So, see? So now we come to the tune. This is what happens here. So first we have C. So what are we doing here? Up here we are adding the D here in the third and the second. Below we have the normal C. Normal C. And we add the D above. Upper structure, try it. And now we have it. This creates this leading tone. Now, 
only want to jump to A flat. You go here, bar in the third, and just move between. And that's it. This is how it sounds. Let's check it out with the track. thing and on the A flat I was actually using A flat and 9 sounds nicer okay now we're checking out uh, the scale in this track um, we have the chords C Ludian and A flat Ludian so this will gonna, gonna be a, a modal improvisation what is a modal into improvisation a modal into improvis improvisation is well, we just play one mode, in this case Ludian, on one chord over a long time, and maybe we switch to another chord, sometimes in the same mode or another mode, in this case in the same mode, but this, this time A flat Ludian mode. So we've, we have two scales which we're using, C Ludian and A flat Ludian. So, um, if you're not really familiar with the Ludian mode, it's very easy to find out to play the Ludian mode because um, the Ludian mode is very near um, uh, related to the normal major scale. In this case, we have I play the C major scale, and when we check out the intervals, we have the root note, the, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, and back to the root note. The difference between the normal major scale in any position on the guitar. And leading is just you just replace the fourth, so you just need to count one, two, three, four, the fourth to a sharp four. In this case, sharp eleven. That's the same actually. We don't we don't need to go too deep into theory. Just replace the fourth to a sharp fourth, and here we are with the leading mode. See the difference? This is normal major scale. And Ludian. That's actually the difference between both. So you can play this in any position you know. And as an example, um, in A flat, uh, with the A flat major scale, normal A flat major scale. Now we replace, as I said, the fourth with a sharp four. One, two, three. Now it comes sharp four. It will come as well, so we take it here. And now we have A flat leading mode. So now we have the mode together. So now how shall we play with this mode? I'll give some ideas. Um, I was talking about upper structure triads at the beginning of this lesson. So in C, the upper structure triad is the D, so D major. So you can play from this chord, D major. You can just play these notes like this. Or uh, the best to, to really have a really defining note when you play Ludi mode is when we start with that sharp four note. Or well, this one here. And that's the main trick actually. And when we play the upper structure triad, we play sharp 11, we play the 9 and the 13, the options. So we play all three options. And this gives a great wide sound. You can play like... 
whatever in um, A flat uh, the upper structure triad will be um, B flat major so and that's it so let's check it out now but now I take a cooler sound <laughs> You can really stay on that sharp 11 note. Upper structure triads. Playing up the structure, try it. Up the structure, try it. See how cool that is. It really works pretty well. You, and you don't. And the, the, the really cool thing about this is. You don't really need to um, play wild stuff. Just sit on those notes, on the Ludi mode, have a cool sound. Well, I have a really fat sound here. I love fat sounds, I must admit that. Uh, for me, guitar must have fat sounds. And then you just play around those notes and we are ready. Uh, yeah, that's the, ba the basic trick on Ludi mode. And the rest you can play any kind of stuff which comes up to your mind. In such case, I give some more, some more ideas now, but I always will be playing around this upper structure try notes. And that's the main thing. Then you can add any kind of um, half tone bending on the sharp 11, full tone bending on the 9. Also, the seventh is a wonderful note to sit on. So let's check it out. The lunar eclipse sound. positions. It's really great when you sit on that sharp 11 note. What also is cool, I mean, um, the typical Joe Satriani style, this legato play. Like in this position it's very easy because, um, because it's the same fingering. Here we are on the 7, 8, 10. That would be a wonderful Ludian uh, lick, so we have here. And slide up in the sharp 11. Slide back, sharp 11, 5th, 9, 7. Any kind of upper structure which you play on Ludi mode or any kind of model improvisation is of course cool. You really, believe me, you don't have to play fast. Just play with expression, with cool sound. And just work around those notes. Um, say, same thing when you go to A flat. So here this, this, this um, sharp four note, here's the D. You can also work the upper structure triads like this. This is a 
A A flat major chord, uh, actually tr uh, arpeggio, and then we just move up and play the same arpeggio two frets above. It's also a very good me method to work out these upper structure triads. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, <laughs> for this lunar eclipse, let's get it floating with this kind of music. That was the lunar eclipse uh, lesson with Ludi mode. I hope you see the, the, the hint behind it. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is with Ludi mode. Um, the more you're familiar with um, with the modes and the the um, intervals which they created, the more you're able to move up and down the whole fretboard, and you have the orientation. You only need to know the major, the normal major scale up and down and just as I said at the beginning replace the 4 with the sharp 4 and there we have Lydian and add the, the upper structure triads and that's it <laughs> sounds easy is not so easy of course but um, we are all on the mission on the guitar so let's go and accomplish it uh, how you say that yeah have some fun and bye <laughs>